because YouTube is more broken than ever. If you want to see more Final Fantasy VII Remake, Kingdom Hearts, and The Legend of Zelda content, I'd really appreciate it if you can hit the bell after subscribing, that way you'll never miss another video again. So I'm over here just doing my morning routines and everything, get my shower on, get my hair washed and everything. I go and look down, take a look at Twitter, and then I go and see that we have a confirmed Breath of the Wild prequel. And those of you guys know, I'm a huge Zelda fanatic. It's literally my number one favorite franchise, no contest. And I, I just love it that freaking much, dude. I'm hitting the like button on this new trailer before I even watch it because I know I'm already going to enjoy it. But that's the thing. Breath of the Wild needs a prequel i'm gonna go into it at, you know after we watch the video this is a six minute trailer so that it's gonna be a little bit beefy um i know it's supposed to be like a muso game kind of like hyrule warriors because in the twitter post when they confirmed it they kind of already said you know a story 100 years for breath of the wild and it said koei tecmo in it so I already know that's what it's going to be. So I'm really interested in seeing how they go about this. I'm really interested in seeing it go about this. Exactly what I think this game needed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, boys. The history of the royal family of Hyrule Empa. is also the history Calamity Ganon, mm -hmm. a primal evil that has endured over the ages. Indeed. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what Ooh, happened. I like how they did that. Years ago. Ooh, Link, okay? Ooh, is that Link? I wonder if this one's gonna be in 60. I wonder. The last one was, so. For Switch, at least. Oh, that was Paya. I just saw Paya. Ooh! Oh, she's Stasis, so that's cool. Mifa, that's so clean. Ooh. Hold up. Her boats are kinda looking nice. Goat and Rivali, I guess. So is this is this game like set during like a one day time period? Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. Woo! That logo. Oh, don't do that to me, bro. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. <laughs> Don't do that to me, Anu. Don't do that to me. Koei Tecmo Games is developing Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This game takes place 100 years before the events of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In that game, the great calamity that occurred 100 years prior was mentioned, but the mm -hmm. actual event itself wasn't shown in full. For in sure. Game, you'll be able to experience the events of the great calamity. Let's go. So now, I would like to invite Koei Tecmo Games producer, Mr. Hayashi, to join me here. Let's do it. Ooh, that shirt, bro. Hello, everyone. I need that. I'm Yosuke Hayashi from Koei Tecmo Games and the producer of this game. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity began when Mr. Aonuma approached us saying, I think it would be interesting to create a Warriors game telling the story of the Great Calamity. What do you think? Yeah, that is Hyrule. Between the Kingdom of Hyrule and Calamity Ganon would complement warrior style gameplay what? against large armies. That doesn't make any sense for her to be there. Oh, you know what? You know what? That actually probably wasn't Paya. I bet you that's actually Impa. Now that I think about it, that makes sense to be Impa. You know, Paya wasn't even alive. She never met Link before. You know, not until Breath of the Wild, and this said a hundred years before then. So that makes way more sense to that to be a younger Impa, especially for her being by Zelda's side. That makes much more sense. 
Mm -hmm. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity was developed by working closely with the Zelda team in every step of the process. Let's go. Including gameplay direction, graphics, world, and all dialogue. I can see. And while we maintained the distinct gameplay style of the Warriors series with exciting 1 versus 1,000 battles and a wide variety of playable characters, this became the only game that will let you experience the world 100 years prior to the events of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild firsthand. Hmm. I'm interested in that. I'm interested in seeing this, dude. Thank you, Mr. Hayashi. During the development of the previous Hyrule Warriors games... No, don't end. Don't end. Okay. All right, we're gonna... We're gonna I need to get a thumbnail, so we going back. There's definitely something I want to talk about here. There's something I want to talk about here, specifically. Because the thing is... Breath of the Wild was a fantastic game. It's, you know, anybody with eyes can practically see that. So it's like, but I feel one of the biggest flaws I had with Breath of the Wild was how it pretends to be narratively focused. Especially if you look at the trailers for Breath of the Wild, it makes it seem like it's a game that really focuses on the story. Because if you haven't noticed, there's quite a few Zelda games that don't fully focus on story but mainly add to its lore, which is how I love Zelda. I love Zelda for its overarching lore throughout its series. I love that. But I also love the Zelda games that dive into its specific story, which is why I love Skyward Sword. Despite some problems some people have with that game, I still love Skyward Sword because of its heavy focus on its specific narrative. And Breath of the Wild masquerades that is doing the same thing, but it really doesn't because the story of Breath of the Wild is already over by the time you boot up the game. And that's the thing about Breath of the Wild. It kind of makes it seem like you should be caring that the champions, spoiler alert, that the champions died at the end of, you know, this game. But you don't know these characters yet. I don't know who Mifa is. I don't know who Urbosa is. I mean, I could see these characters look cool and everything and then you know well dang they died you know but I don't I mean I don't know these people and it's like they expect you to care about things when you don't I know that's what the memories are there for to reinforce okay well now I can see I can understand dang they died that's kind of sad but it doesn't really go beyond that but now that we're actually going to be having a narratively focused warriors game in the style of Hyrule Warriors and centered around the hundred years before Breath of the Wild, this is exactly what that story needed. I mean, it sucks that they had to make a whole nother game about that, but I, I know and I respect that they had to do it this way. I respect that. And I'm really excited to see how they go about this. I mean, we know this is not going to end good for any of them. You know, Link is going to be practically killed and have to go into the, you know, Chamber of Resurrection and everything uh, for the next hundred years. Zelda is going to be trapped holding <laughs> Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle for the next hundred years. All the other champions are just going to die. The world is going to be practically ended. So. It's not going to go well. I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a sadder game. I mean, of course, we know what's going to happen, but to actually see each of the champions die and actually witness Link's, you know, failure in full, you know, is going to be a heavy one. I know some people are upset that it's a Musou game uh, for this kind of thing, but I feel that for a side game that is honestly optional, you don't really need to see the details of what happened 100 years ago because we already saw what happens after <laughs> but i feel like for an optional game i feel like this is okay and honestly as someone who liked Hyrule warriors the first one I, i'm fine with this i love the warriors game so i mean of course they get repetitive after a bunch of time but if i'm playing it for the narrative it's not going to bore me during that time so i'm not too worried about it if it's a game you don't really want to you know play watch the you know, cutscenes online and you do something or, or another something along those lines but i'm excited for it let me know if you guys are excited for it are you guys planning on playing age of calamity let me know that in the comment section down below and Hey, if you want more Zelda content, then uh, hit that subscribe button because, of course, I don't just do Kingdom Hearts here. I plan on mixing in, you know, Zelda, and Chrono Trigger, and other games I love so much, and Persona. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kingdom Ace, and remember my warriors of courage. Stay strong, stay beautiful, and to always look skyward.